Welcome to this video tutorial on Last Dance with Mary Jane by Tom Petty. It's a great song. Um, I'm putting it in the level two category because of the hammer-ons that I'm going to show you with this. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty easy song and you do not have to play it with the hammer-ons. I'll show you both, um, both versions, both ways to play it um, to make it you know easier for those who might want to be playing this as one of the first songs they've ever learned. So... Let's jump into it. All right, so with this song, what we're actually gonna be doing is we're gonna be hammering on the first note, okay? But we're only gonna be doing it with our number two and number three fingers. And that's gonna be in the A minor on the top two strings of the chord. So string three and four are gonna hammer on like this. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing that A minor with the hammer on, then we're going to be going to a G, and then we're going to be going to a form of the D called the D sus 2, and all it is is it's going to be a D major chord, but instead of using that bottom string, the bottom E string or the high E string, we're going to, we're going to only use the top two strings. So we're going to take out that high E string, so it's just going to ring. So it'll be these. It'll just be your two fingers, however you play that uh, D chord. It'll just be the second um, and third strings of that D chord. So strings four and five will be the only ones you have fingers on. Hopefully that makes sense. So as you can see, playing like this, it'll sound like this. All right, so that's gonna be are verse and the way the song goes it's basically just verse chorus verse chorus um, that, until the end of the song so you'll just this we'll learn this part with the verse and then we'll learn the chorus part and you'll pretty much be ready to go so let's hear how this will go with the hammer-ons on the a minor going to the g and then going to the d sus 2 So because the A minor is ending the, the verse, um, the um, measure on the verse, and then coming back in to the beginning of the verse, so we have it at the beginning and the end. So that's why we're going to the A minor and then we're doing the hammer on. So it's hammer on, G, D sus 2, A minor, hammer on. So it's actually, you know, it's not too hard, but um, you know, it's it's actually really fun to play. So as you can hear, I like to stop it after that first A minor. I don't know, it's just habit. I like doing that. You don't have to do it. Now you can play it without that hammer on. If you're just learning, if it's a new song for you and you want to do it without the hammer on, then let's just uh, do it straight. So just A minor to G to the D to, to A minor again. Alright, so now let's jump to the chorus. The chorus is simple. It's just E minor to A major. And that's also one of the things I really love about this song is that there's that key change where you're going from a minor A to a major A. So it's very interesting, you know, kind of gives you some songwriting, um, some uh, a little bit of uh, intro into some songwriting, you know, things you can do in songwriting to make songs a little more interesting. So let's jump from the from the verse to the chorus, which will be this. So the chorus will be E minor to A major.
So what it does is it ends on the G and then it goes back into the verse. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you a little variation I like to play as well so you can just kind of make this a little bit harder. We're going to go from the A major and we're going to drop our last finger. For me, it's my third finger, but the very bottom string in our A's, in our A, I'm going to drop that out when I'm playing that, that verse. So it's going to sound like this, or the chorus, excuse me. That just gives you a little bit of uh, some flair. You can mess around with different ways as you get better to play it. The, the thing about this song is it's written on an electric guitar, so it actually is a little more all over the place um, in those keys, but it moves around a lot because of how it was written on the electric guitar. So when we're transferring over to, to acoustic, we can kind of do a little bit of what we want, um, because it's not a, it's not specifically played in a specific way on the acoustic guitar So let's go through the verse and the chorus and let's do that um, So we can put it all together. Okay, and I'll I'll try to kind of to guide you through how I'm how I'm doing it So we'll start with a minor So hopefully that gives you a really good idea of how to play the song. It's it's pretty easy, like I said, but the hammer-ons are definitely going to give you um, a next the next step up in your uh, in your um, repertoire of things you can do on the guitar as you learn more of those uh, hammer-ons and and those types of um, skills. You'll be able to play much more difficult songs. So hopefully this is a really good intro into those hammer-ons as well as just a fun song to play. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.